Preparations for demolition have begun here at this fire-ravaged building at Young and Gould Street. It seems it's only a matter of time now until the piece of Toronto history is forever lost. What's the likelihood of actually finding a conclusive cause? It's too soon to say. I mean, I'm saying we haven't been inside that building. I mean, you've all seen uh, the amount of fire damage that has occurred in that building. The, uh, um, I mean, the fire is unforgiving. Well, there was little left of the building after a six-alarm blaze tore through it early Monday, and Ontario Fire Marshal investigators have now determined that the building was so badly gutted it just can't be saved. So this isn't going to be one big demolition. This is going to be piece by piece, so people can really expect this to be shut down for a, a few days. Then, it, it, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, you know. In, in a perfect world, if we could get this thing done by the weekend, I would say that would be uh, that would be good. But I just, I mean, we'll have to see how things unfold. City Councilor Christine Wong Tam fought successfully to have the destruction of the building put on hold for a day, so that architects and engineers not hired by the owners of the building could take a look around. She's now confident that everything possible has been done to try to save the once prominent hotel on the city's Young Street Strip. You know, as a local councillor, I've taken every precaution as I can to ensure that, you know, number one, we respect heritage, two, is that the, the public safety is considered, um, and uh, I, I, I feel quite confident and satisfied that, um, you know, there, there may not have been more that I could do at this stage. The building is expected to come down now in the next 24 hours. All that remains to be seen is whether or not the fire was deliberately set. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Chris Doucette.